What's good y'all welcome back to another reaction on this channel now in today's video I have not spoke about this topic of conversation I really don't like speaking on someone's passing too early to when it actually happens but rest in peace to uh, DC Young Fly's baby mother I think her name is O Jackie if I'm not mistaken apparently she passed away undergoing a cosmetic surgery procedure um and that's very unfortunate to hear okay but in today's video, we're going to be reacting to Kanye West exposing DC Young Fly for sacrificing his baby mother for fame. Now, I would not want to make those type of accusations only because I haven't personally looked into the situation myself. I don't know what evidence there is, so I just can't jump on and take this as truth. But I am curious to see exactly how Kanye West exposed this, and I am curious to see what are the details relating to her passing? We'll use our own discernment to find out the truth from there. But without further ado, make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel, Road to One Milli. Help this video do well in the algorithm. Show your boys some love. But let's get into today's video, man. Bam! Told you, bud! Sacrifice! Keep telling y'all! Rap! Bastard! Oh, DC Young Fly! Baby mama dead in 30! My mama ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Me too. You understand? Kanye West can end this by telling the truth. And what do you believe that truth is? The doctor had nothing to do with his mom's death. Wow. Deaths in the Hollywood industry wow. have always been plagued with blood sacrifice myths. These rumors came back in full swing after the recent death of DC Young's baby mama. People have been speculating if her death was actually a sacrifice for Young to climb the Holly ladder. You see, the cod And I just want to correct myself. I just looked it up. Her name is Jackie O, not O Jackie. Death has been reported to be complications after cosmetic procedures. If we follow memory lane, Kanye was also making quite a fuss at the suspicious demise of Donda West quite a few years ago. Stay with us, folks, because we've got all the deets on this latest controversy. Young DC, the YouTuber, has been in the headlines since the recent passing of his baby mama. TMZ broke the news that former Wild and Out star Jack Yo, who's also DC Young's Fly's longtime partner, has died. The celebrity news channel reported that Jackie was in Miami when she breathed her last breath. Additionally, sources have revealed that she was in Miami to undergo a mommy makeover. Former star of Wild and Out, Jackie O, has died at just 32 years Damn, old. Bro. BET Media Group also mourned the loss of the former actress. The official statement read, We are deeply saddened by the passing of Jacqueline Smith, known to the world as Jackie, but talented Wild and Out family member whose impact will be forever treasured and missed. Jackie O was a loving friend and beloved colleague of the Wild and Outcast throughout five seasons. More importantly, she was a tremendous mother to three beautiful children. Damn. While the rumors started going around after a suspicious clip surfaced on TikTok. In spite of mourning the loss of his beloved, Young is seen preaching to a bunch of kids and other people in a kitchen-like room, where it's quite common for parents to soothe their children with calming words. Young is seen repeating the mantra, this is all for our family. For me, it's for us. You get what I'm saying? Yes, we sir. have to expand our horizon, understand that this is for the family, this is ground rooted, this is for us. Everything from this point on is for us. Anyone who listens closely to the clip may question, what is for the family? However, Young did his part very well. He diligently released a statement from his family stating, we thank everyone for their well wishes and ask for privacy during this difficult time. DC's notorious video has led many people to believe in the sacrificial theory. People out there have questioned Fly's prolonged silence after the news broke. You have to really question it because he had no pictures or mentions of her for weeks and months on his social media pages. He even posted only his children around Mother's Day and did not mention her in any aspect. Then he was updating his YouTube page on the day of her death, the next day and the day following, just as Quavo did when he got takeoff taken out. Some fans came forward with tidbits of information, claiming she died in the hotel room. Did you know she also died in a hotel? An unnamed person called the ambulance and said someone is not responding. He, she didn't express what happened or who she was. That person is still a mystery. Jackie actually made it through the surgery okay. 
She supposedly had complications as she slept through the night. Even though nothing has been disclosed, internetizens believe that Jackie That's passed crazy. due to complications after the cosmetic surgery. And that is the main link to another high profile death of Donda West. DC Young Fly, baby mama dead in 30, plastic surgery. I'm whose other mother died? Kanye mother died? Just like that. This one. Yes, you guessed it. And the that right, internet is that right there where it gets a little weird. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's right there. I'm not gonna take YouTube comments for fact. Obviously, like I said, I like to do my own research on things. But that right there is a weird correlation. Okay, the passing during a surgery. The only difference is Kanye West is coming out and saying my mother was sacrificed. <laughs> yeah, she died during surgery, but my mother was sacrificed. So could that possibly be the same situation? I don't know. This is just questions in the air. This is just questions in the air. Let's continue. Going crazy with the blood sacrifice allegations. After Jackie's unfortunate passing, Young had some new gigs lined up for him. And that is raising some eyebrows. DC Young Fly just sacrificed the mother of his daughter to go Lucy, AKA Lucifer. Those stacked up comedy tour dates he got lined up come at a price and he paid with blood. I keep telling y'all who are itching for the soft life of the entertainment industry, nothing is for free. Remember when Kanye West was trending all over social media for his outworldly comments regarding his mother's death? Well, in a video shot by paparazzi, West talked about Hollywood sacrificing people, which he says includes his mother, Donda West. My mama ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. Michael Jordan, what about him? His daddy, right? Bill Cosby, his son? Dr. Dre, his son, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. It feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. Now we all know that Kanye has monetize. never shied away from exposing the Hollywood elites. And this time around, he even went as far as to name their puppets. They can control Shaq. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce. Even John Sally, said, an American former professional basketball player. He said, but they can't control me. See, they own, they ain't no name that I won't name. I love that video. That was probably Kanye, one of Kanye's realest video. And then another one of his realest videos is when he exposed all the, everybody was coming at him for anti-Semitic statements, but yet he exposed how almost every single major CFO, COO, CEO, or executive producer or executive... Every single person, Disney, uh, 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 music labels, all of them were Jewish. So it's not that he was being racist, he was just speaking his truth. Even John Sally, an American former professional basketball player and an industry insider, conceded to all of Kanye's claims. In an interview with Vlad TV, Shelby said, He says things like, my mom was sacrificed. But what if that's true? What if... They didn't do it to Jordan's father, but what if they did do it to Kanye's mom? Like okay. This, this is different. Okay. What if right. that happened? Although many think that a football player and a music executive have much in common, the entertainment industry is bringing smiles back to millions for less than $30. So you can have the radiant smiley is very strange. All the high profile people, irrespective of their position or role, are well connected behind the scenes. So it's quite possible that John might know something he can't disclose to the world. Moreover, the physician who performed cosmetic surgery on Kanye West's mother the day before she died is blaming her family for the tragedy. In case you are wondering, the physician was widely criticized by the public for doing a couple of cosmetic procedures of Kanye's mother in a single day. Even though at the time he was very evasive in giving the deets in the beginning, he walked out on a live show. Don't you want to speak out? No. You don't want to? No. I do not. All right, because you came here to speak out. But recently, Dr. Adams finally opened up in an interview with Inside Edition. He claimed that Kanye was speaking the truth because Donda's death had nothing to do with the cosmetic procedure performed by him. Kanye West can end this by telling the truth. And what do you believe that truth is? The doctor had nothing to do with his mom's death. The doctor did not stop after revealing the surgical details. He even disclosed that he was suspicious of the caretaker that was taking care of Donda at home. 
According to Adams, after West had surgery, he suggested that she should stay in the medical facility for care. But West wanted to stay with her nephew, Stephen Scoggins, Kanye's cousin, who is also a nurse. During the interview, Adams read notes he made from 2007, detailing the incident. Adams revealed that her nephew gave her an inhumane amount of medicine. This lady shouldn't be dead. Her caregivers gave her 20 Vicodin tabs in less than 20 hours. Adams believes the overload of pills caused West to choke to death. According to sources, she was left on her back unattended. Adams even speculated that this indeed was a setup to attack Kanye. You see, Kanye has always been quite treacherous to the entertainment world. He made quite the headlines for his anti-Semitic remarks after he wore a shirt with White Lives Matter. West, who legally changed his name to Ye, told Fox News former co-host Tucker Carlson that he wore it because it's the obvious thing. The answer to why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do. When Carlson pushed West on why he thinks people consider that a controversial statement, West said it's because he's not acting in the way the media thinks he should act. Fact. Because the same people that have stripped us of our identity and labeled us a color have told us what it means to be black. But as you might have caught of the media drift, Ye has lost about half of his fortune to his irresponsible remarks. According to Mike Muse, no one in the industry wants to work with Ye, even though he has shown his capabilities many times. Just don't want to touch uh, and engage and be in partnership with someone who spews such anti-Semitic. And for those who have forgotten, because Ye did delete all his controversial tweets afterward, he tweeted, I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going DEFCON 3 on Jewish people. The funny thing is, I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jew also. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. Well, despite the controversies going on with Kanye and Young Fly's girlfriend, it is quite clear that there is something suspicious going on in the entertainment world. It's safe to say sure. that this case should be investigated by authorities because things really don't add up. And whether or not Jackie was a blood... Bro, it being investigated by authorities is not going to make any bit of a difference. But listen, man. For me, it's too early to jump into any conclusions. So I'm going to just leave this video as it is. Okay, there are those are some pretty interesting uh, similarities between Kanye's mother's passing and Jackie O's passing. But... On that note, I'm going to end this video right here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. Peace.